Hi YouTube, this is BearKiller777 Mitch. Um, making a really short, quick video just to let you know I'm still, everyone know I'm still alive and breathing and all that jazz. And I was planning on putting a, a video up like a month ago, uh, roughly a month ago, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, basically saying what was going on with everything and, you know, and I had up had recorded the video onto my computer, and uh, the microphone was didn't pick up the audio. And since then, I haven't had time to actually record another video. And then I was like, well, I should probably, you know, record another video to put up. So this is I'm gonna try to make this like under 10 minutes. So if I go over it then bear with me because I got a lot on my heart and my mind and some of it I just don't have time for right now which I'll get into later toward the end um and uh anyway so I just been with dealing with a lot lately guys my aunts in the hospital um she just got a heart surgery and um she had to have three valves not one but three were being repaired and um, I'm dealing with work right now, working over the summer and um, not much there other than I've been really busy with it so oh, also I'm getting into some new books lately here's this one um, it's on a personal struggle I have for all you guys out there I recommend I just started looking at this today while I was at a break at work I brought it with me um, it's called Freedom Begins Here. It's by Devotional Journal. I'm not sure if that's the name of it, but freedombeginshere.org is their website. I'd highly recommend this um, book here. You can get it off for free if you cannot buy it. Um, as you can see, I've already done day one here I'm called Reflection. Day one was on uh, No Matter What You've Done. And it was on the prodigal son, which was pretty good, because that's pretty much my story. My life, my life, uh, testimony to Christ is, you know, I was a bully and I came to Christ and the prodigal son in many ways. So I highly recommend that book. Um, it's really good. So yeah, I I just been really, really, really busy lately, guys, and that's what I hope that you know. Y'all are still, some of you are still watching my channel. Um, if you are, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, as you can see, my room hasn't really changed that much the past few months. I've gotten some more books lately. So you can see here, I am literally running out of room on my desk for books. And yes, for a Dan Brown fans wondering out there, that is the new Dan Brown book. I got it at Dark. Barnes and Noble, I was going to Darns and, and, uh, Bulbul, but, you know, my tongue tends to mix the letters and stuff, and so, I was, anyway, um, so Dan Brown book is, is, uh, called Inferno, it's by the title says, and I'm not going to tell you guys too much other than it's about the, um, Dante's Inferno, and, it is a really good book, and as you can see, I've read that much. And yes, I know I have really cheesy bookmark, but I don't buy the book for the bookmarks. I got it for the book, so yeah. And as you can see, I am literally running out of room, guys. Like, I have books here on the floor next to me, and I have books here on the floor, and I have literally no more space for another bookshelf. Like, I have literally thought of every configuration possible and it's it's just not physically possible to fit another bookshelf in the vicinity of this room um so as for uh, future books i don't know i might just have to go through the bookshelf one day and you know take books out and that i don't want and put the one keep the ones that i do want and just go with that because I'm literally running out of room and I just don't have room for any more books in the bookshelf like 
for this book I made room for it but as you can see I'm keeping it on my desk because I'm reading it and I've just been sent a bunch of books by a f uh, one by a friend here this one's called The Source of My Strength by Charles Stanley this one was sent by John MacArthur's ministry uh, Save Without a Doubt which I had, actually I had a send friend send it to me but I guess you can say anyway John MacArthur's ministry sent it to me and pretty much guys I've been struggling with my salvational and I've doubted it at times and so I, I don't doubt it as much now because I know I'm saved and cured in Christ but anyway I haven't really had time to look at this book but it looks good so if it looks good it's probably good because I've read a few John MacArthur books here or there you know all guys know I'm a John, big John MacArthur fan I have this study Bible and all that jazz and yes I know some of you are gonna go oh John MacArthur oh he's this and that and the other thing well I'm sorry if you don't like him, I just I just don't have time to deal with your criticisms and blah blah blah. I'm just don't listen to John MacArthur if you don't like him. I mean, there's other preachers out there that you can listen to, and I know some of you are gonna be going probably gonna message me whenever you see this video and go, why are you listening to John MacArthur and reading his books and blah blah blah. Well, in my opinion, he's biblically sound, and I may not agree with everything on him on uh, what he says, but I do like. His some of his other stuff. I was gonna plan on going through this one here, maybe in a few weeks or so after I get done with that Dan Brown book or something. I mean, I am literally stacked a mile high with books I want to go through. Questions and answers is another book I was sent by Josh McDowell, which I haven't read yet. Um, I have more books. Another one I was just sent by the same friend. Uh, more answers and questions. I mean, literally, I am just, like, piled a mile high, and I get to sit here and grab books all day and night and show you all the guys all the books I have, but I'm not going to do that because that's not the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is to basically explain, like, what's been going on the past few months since I haven't done any YouTube videos at all. Um, I just plain haven't had time. Like, literally, like, every week by week, month by month for the past five six months straight literally I I just I just haven't had time and uh, there are several factors one is college like I've had to deal with a bunch of college situation right now and I can't get into too much detail because it's being worked on and I don't know who's watching the video all I'll say is that I've had some situation come up and it has to do with my grades I won't say exactly what other than it's being worked on. I've given over to God in prayer like three or four times by now. Okay, maybe like one or two. I'm over exaggerating right now. Sorry, and and that's about it. I I'll, I'll say because I I don't know who's watching this video, so they may be watching this right now. And if you're watching this video, uh, <laughs> uh, give me some you know a positive response to what I've said to you. You know who you are, and I hope that. And I've sent a few private messages to some people that might be watching this video so you know what the situation is. You know what's going on. I just don't have time. Or I, I don't think it's it's good to explain that in a this public video like this. But I will say that I've given it over to God. And I've, I've already thought of some backup plans and some other things if you guys out there watching. I appreciate any prayer on that as well as well as the situation with my aunt as well as some other things just just I'm just trying to juggle life right now guys and honestly I'm I'm so glad for you know God's grace in my life like literally I'm wearing this I've been wearing this cross like literally all the time like excuse me even when I'm like sleeping it's a really nice I think I I don't know if I ever told you guys about this Let's see if I can take it off well I will take it off but you can kinda of see it if you look real carefully it's a it's a mood cross necklace and I got it for under ten dollars uh, from Christian books and it's really pretty so I decided to get it and I literally wear it all the time and I just don't even see it anymore honestly unless I you know so I just kind of like put it there or whatever anyway so enough of me just like random rambling um so there's been that situation with my school guys and the fact that um, a certain cult on YouTube and you guys probably know what I'm referring to if you're watching this video if you're one of my subscribers uh, 
is possibly going to, I from what I've heard, is going to do more attacks. And I just don't have time for that right now. I honestly don't. I mean, I have books a mile high here. I have uh, school. I have work on the side. I have personal problems I'm dealing with. And also along with the fact that, uh, where did I put that book? It's over there. Okay, I'm not going to get it right now, but, um, I will, I won't say too much other than I'm seeing a psychologist and he basically said I have anxiety disorder, guys. Um, so pretty much I've been dealing with, like, everything, like, you can think or possibly imagine. I mean, except for death. I mean, I'm glad, so glad I haven't had to deal with a death this year. Like, last year, I had to deal with a personal death in the family and it... It literally brought me to the point where it affected everything in my life, guys. And honestly, I could just really, really, really use some prayers about the fact that I am still doing with it almost a year later. And I'll say who it was. It was my grandma because, you know, she's no longer here, so I can say it. Um, and she was really close to me, guys. And, um, you know, even though it's almost been like a whole year that she's been gone, it's just been... Uh, it has just been like up and down and up and down and up and down and up. It's literally been like a little roller coaster ride, and I just don't know. Like, okay, I like I think like one day I'm totally cool. I'm like, okay, God, you totally got this under control. And I'm I'm sorry if, if I'm like he, some of you guys are like, well, how could you talk to God like that? Well, like honestly, quit it. Just I talk to God. This is I mean I'm just thinking out loud. This is how I talk to God, and I'm like, okay. Okay, I got I totally cool guy. I totally given this over to you and and honestly I thought I gave it to God and then all of a sudden the next day or whatever day it is, uh it'll be like, Well, um Okay, maybe I didn't give this over to you, God, or or I'll totally feel down, like depressed and and it's just awful and and I'm like, well, what's going on? Did I not give this over to you, God? And it's literally been like that, like up and down, up and down for the past almost year. And some days are worse than others. And I just hope that one day there'll be a resolution and I'll be okay with it. But it, she was really, really close. So I appreciate if you guys keep her in our prayers. And there's also another thing like with my church we're going through a situation with financially and the fact that uh just some situation with our with the church and I can't get to too much detail there other than the fact that uh, this is also another thing I've laid in the God challenge so okay with that being said here's let's less less and positives you know like this church has positive encouraging k love sorry I've been listening to too much k love today um K love, I can't say it very well. Anyway, um, so pretty much there are positives to this and that is that I, I things have just literally happened in the past month or two. I literally just can't explain other than like God was at work and you know he can be speaking through a coworker or through the music that I listen to or you know, other things, going other music or whatever, just like, God's been totally been cool about that, and I am so, 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 so glad that God's been doing that in my life, guys, and, you know, without that, I would, I wouldn't be able to go on, like, without, you know, the Holy Spirit cont continuing to shake me and move me in all sorts of ways that I never thought were even possible with God, like, Honestly, guys, like, the past year has just been, like, wow, like, could God l literally talk to me in this way? I just, I just didn't think it was possible that, like, literally, like, uh, so I'll just give you guys an example. I was in this, so I'm going to this Saturday night, Saturday night, uh, church, wow, I can't talk, Saturday night church service, and, um, uh, sorry, I'm got distracted. I'm trying to look at Facebook now. Anyway, and this lady walked up to me afterward, and she told me that God told me He loved me very much and has a plan for me. And I literally broke down. Like I knew that, but it was something that I needed to hear from God. And I was so so glad for that lady to say that. That I just like broke down. Like literally, I'm serious, guys. And, 
I am I, I I'm just been blown away by what everything God's done the past year in my life and I have absolutely no idea what he's going to do in the past month or two and um he could do anything guys like literally I have seen him come through financially and through family situations and through work and through every possible situation so that's why I'm not worrying about any of the things I mentioned to you guys because I just know that God's totally in control and no matter what's going to happen in the future that God's in control and I know he is because I've seen it in my own life and I hope that you guys see it in your life too so I I hope that this has up been a good update video um I hope I I keep I want to encourage all my fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ if you're a believer out there you're who are brother and sister don't worry and <laughs> yeah hopefully you understand what that means but no it doesn't mean you bloodline blood or brother or sister it's a spiritual anyway enough of me blabbing about that uh just I just want to encourage you guys to keep pressing on in the faith the Lord is working in my life and I hope he's working in your life and your other the other believers life around you as well as well as you also pray for your pastor number one pray for me and other believers as well as I will pray for you and and so forth and if there's anything I've forgotten out of there please let me know <laughs> um, yeah and and spend time with the Lord every day guys I mean just honestly just 10 even if it's just like five minutes a day like with me it's been 10 minutes here five minutes there it's not a lot of time but you know what it, as long as I got my Caleb on man I'm just happy I'm just plugged into the Lord all day long you know with my uh, you know the Caleb I mean they they have a verse of the day they do um, if you guys go to Caleb.com and click on verse of the day or something like that like so today's is Psalm I even looked at today, by the way. It was just kind of funny. I think they read it on air at one point, and I was listening to it. Psalm 62, 7, it says, My victory and honor came from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. So again, it's it's like God subtly speaking to me. You know, a rock where no enemy can reach me, no obstacle, no school issue or work issue or family issue can reach me because... God is my victory and my honor. God alone, God alone, God alone. Amen. So I love that verse, Psalm 62, 7. But anyway, if you go to uh, Caleb.com, it's K-L-O-V-E.com, like my t-shirt is, one word, and you can click on, like, verse of the day or something. It's, like, at the top. You put in your email, and it will send you a verse that you can, you'll, it'll, it'll pop up in your inbox. And, um... You, you receive it every day and it will have a little thing for you every day and it's just a little encouragement reminder that hey God's for me who can be against me or or whatever the verse is you know or like Psalm 62 7 just said and I just barely pulled that up by the way I'm not lying I, I literally haven't pulled that up like all day um and so um yeah I, I hope I encourage somebody out there. I know I am not a very good speaker. I'm not adept. I'm not inept. Adept, inept, whatever the right word is at speaking. Uh, so I hope I'm making some sense. If not, you know, you can make a comment and say to me, "This makes no sense." So please explain, <laughs> and then I will reply back and explain when I have time, of course. But anyway, um, so uh, I. So anyway, uh, this is what I'll be reading, along with the Bible. I'll read the Bible first, but this is my side reading, Dan Brown. Oh my gosh, so good, so so good. I, I just, uh, I love it. I'm in love with 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 my Bible. I love my Bible. This is my second love. See, I know this is not my first love. Sorry, this is. I see. I really should be doing it with my Bible. There we go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm I'm joking around with you. Okay. All right. Enough of this. Uh, I'm playing around now. All right. God bless you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you got a little laugh, maybe. If you're not, you just got totally bored. Please leave a comment. And say I got bored, or I laugh. I had fun. 
All right. Uh, God bless you guys. I look forward to the next time.